Hello everyone, we're making chicken and homemade noodles today and I figured I would show you how it's done. This is my grandma's recipe and the first thing we need is um, good broth. And we start with chicken broth. As you can see I've already got the chicken going in the pot and I usually use boneless skinless breasts or whatever I have and today it was thighs and legs. And then we, no, just size, sorry, no legs. Uh, then we need to add, to make good broth, you need good seasonings. And so I add celery and onion, just in big chunks. Don't even need to chop it very small because it just goes right into the pot. And I'll take it out later. So, and next is the noodles. So I'll get started on that and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're getting ready to make the base of the soup, which is the noodles. And the broth is starting to boil behind me, so that's good. And we start with um, our recipe, which I actually have memorized. It's uh, in my grandma's own handwriting. And uh, I always triple the recipe. So uh, we start in here with a cup of uh, three cups of flour, um, three-fourths of a teaspoon of baking powder, and about three-fourths of a teaspoon of salt. And I like to sift it all together. And do that into this bowl. Isn't that neat? This little old-fashioned sister twister thing. That. And I also always use kosher salt just because it's better. So, so there we go. That's and then you make a well in the center. And in this bowl I have two eggs, um, a quarter cup of milk that you need to whisk together. And then just a little bit of butter, which is about quarter, well, it's almost a tablespoon. So, and I put that in. I have my eggs and milk. And you stir it as much as you can with your hand, with your fork. Eventually, it gets pretty thick, so we have to turn it out and mix it with our hands. So, if it's too dry, just add a little bit of milk. Um, it's better that you make it too dry than to make it too wet, because once you start adding flour, it just changes the whole composition of the noodle, and it usually doesn't work out. So, this looks a little dry, but we'll give it a little bit of time first. Alright, well we got it mixed up pretty well. We had to add a little bit more milk. so. I've mixed it as much as I can in the bowl, and then I'm going to turn it on, onto my floured surface. And mix it a little bit more together to get all of the <coughs> all of the butter mixed in, and all of the milk, and everything mixed together. So, and even though it's kind of flaky, it's supposed to be that way, so you don't want squishy dough. You want pretty stiff dough. So. And then I'm going to divide it because this is too much to roll out at once. Yep. So. Alright. When I used to work at a restaurant and was the manager, we made soups every day. And this is one that we made every Thursday. And it was one of our most popular soups. So, this is my famous Gigi's Chicken and Homemade Noodle Soup. Here we have the rolling pins that I keep in my drawer in a sock so it doesn't get all dinged up. And this is my solid wood rolling pin. It has the cherry buttons on the end. And uh, my grandma got this as a wedding present in 1940 from their neighbor. Alright, so 
we're rolling out the dough. And I just keep turning it and rolling it to make sure that it's nice and thin. I usually try to get it about a quarter of an inch thin, thick, whatever, before I cut it. So, that's how we go. Uh, <clears throat> if you remember, I took the rolling pin out of a sock. Well, I keep it in there so that it doesn't get scratched up and banged up and dented inside of my cabinet. And one day when I was on my way to work, we were making the noodles, I just took this with me. And when I got out of the van, the boy asked me if, uh, <laughs> if this was my peg leg. Uh, he thought that because it was always in the drawer in a sock that it was a fake leg. <laughs> he didn't know it was my rolling pin. So, arg. <laughs> me rolls up the noodles with the peg leg. <laughs> Anyway, once I get them pretty thin, I trim off the rough edges just a little. So that the noodles are pretty straight. I didn't used to do this, but after making it in the restaurant for so long, I always wanted them to look a little bit nicer, so. And then We'll set it over here with the others until we're all done rolling, and then we'll cut. All right, as you can see, we are done rolling, and we're going to make whoop, actual noodles now. We're going to cut them up. I cut them into strips, and then I use a straight edge, um, like a pastry cutter would be nice, but I don't have one, so I use a broken spatula because it's got a nice sharp edge. Um, but you can use a butcher knife or something, too and just cut them really thin into a noodle size strip. Back and forth like that to get all the way through. And as you can see they're really thin. So in my broth, to prepare my broth for the noodles, I I took out all of the chicken because I'm going to shred that later. And I went ahead and took out the big chunks of onion and celery because I don't want that in my soup. I just want the chicken and the noodles and maybe some carrots. Okay. Okay, so our broth is at a rolling boil. And I've already put some of the noodles in. I'm just going to slide them in the broth. They float to the top. And they just... That is how they cook. So once I get all these put in and loaded up, then the chicken will be cool and I'll chop that up and put it in there. That's it for that step. Okay, well we're about to put the last batch of the noodles in. Um, you see it's pretty dusty. I usually wear my little apron from waitressing because uh, well, I wipe my hands on my jeans, so if I didn't do that, it probably would be the problem, but here is the last batch of noodles that will slide in, and once they're all in, we uh, let them boil for about a half hour. During that time, um, during that time, we take all the chicken off the bone and shred it up, so, and then add that back in at the end of the half hour. Um, I'm also going to put in a few chopped carrots. Is it on? Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're done with the soup. We have lots of chicken noodly goodness. So good. With the carrots and the noodles. And it's cooked for about a half hour. And then I shredded the chicken added it back in. So the carrots are still a little... Um, firm, they're not really foggy carrots. And then added salt and pepper for seasoning and the very good yummy soup. And here it is. Take a bite for it and let you know. Take a bite of it and let you know how good it is. So. Hot. Mm. Very good.